Hello and welcome to the CBMM and Partners Mobility Leadership Debate. The mobility sector is undergoing radical change and transformation. Automotive product makers and mobility service providers are responding to heightened challenges, new demands, new technologies and new players in the marketplace. Today I'm joined by a number of recognised leaders driving and responding to these changes to discuss mobility trends and challenges. <laughs> Um, the key challenge um, of this huge disruption that is going to happen in mobility is the health, the health of the industry. For me, the industry has a huge challenge, especially the car industry. Very well put. I think that the, the, the real challenge is, is how to manage the change from old to new. And the challenge is, is light weighting is something very important. So it's one of the projects as well that we launched in Goodwood together with uh, Extreme E and the body in white, uh, showing the case that it was lighter and safer. Part of it is, uh, is always trying to enable technologies and validate the solutions. That helps create new use cases and business uh, models as well. Well, I think one big challenge is for companies to stay ahead of competition and bring new mobility solutions and services to the market as quick as possible. <laughs> For sure, driving range and rechargeability. How to, how to put a quick charge in your vehicle and make it like part of regular life. Yeah. Uh, since 2010 to today, the battery cost has been dropped down by 80%. The question is, what is the energy mix that fuels them? That is to say, is it clean uh, or is it coming from traditional generation sources mm -hmm. that also have carbon? The other component is, uh, what is the cost of that energy? In order to really, I think the biggest challenge is to drive the cost of the batteries. I think one of the areas that is going to be a critical challenge is the infrastructure technology. And I would expand that to include um, artificial intelligence. Ultimately, you're selling savings. You're selling an easier way of be doing business. You're selling a cheaper way of doing business. So that the human and the AI together will be much more strong than the AI racing by itself. Of course, when transportation costs come to zero, you get all kinds of implications for things that can happen. So people do want to change and they think about new ways of transportation. And it's quite obvious maybe if you think about the environment, if you think about health, if you think about congestion here in New York streets. Well, to improve the material, uh, real material in cars, trucks, buses, and also in bikes. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. Another really, really interesting discussion.